prosecutors have taken the unprecedented step of releasing jailhouse video of a visit to the accused mother by her parents, Cindy and George. In the damning video, Casey comes across as selfish, disrespectful, and concerned only about herself, never even mentioning her then still missing child. I don't know what's going on. My entire life has been taken from me. Everything has been taken from me. You don't understand. Everybody wants me to have answers. I don't have any answers because I don't know what's going on. I want Kaylee. Things like that. And that's not even getting put on the air, which it should be. It's everything else, everything that I'm, I'm not saying. That's why I haven't been calling. That's why I haven't been taking calls. I'm trying to make sure that I'm not <laughs> going to give anybody anything else to throw against me. All right, joining me now, the Anthony family attorney, Brad Conway, joins me live. You know, Brad, welcome. Uh, what bugs me about that is she had an attorney at the time. The attorney specifically instructed no family visits, no visits of any kind, when he, Jose Baez, was out of town as he was that date, August 14th. They went ahead and manipulated your clients into arranging that meeting. Do you think that meeting was a setup? Well, it looks that way, Gerardo, because as you said, Mr. Baez gave strict instructions that no visitations occur without his knowledge. And it did indeed occur on, on a time where he was out of town. And she's not going to testify in the trial, obviously, so they will use this video if the judge doesn't throw it out as he should. But they will use this video and that, will, that, that testimony right there of that whiny, selfish uh, bitch uh, is all the jury will see. It will be extremely damning. I think that they've pulled a fast one. Doesn't look good for, for her if the video is all that's going to be shown. And certainly she can't testify. She, uh, right. Uh, okay, Roy Cronk, the utility man who found uh, the, the bones in the bag in August and then yes. uh, didn't really find them, called the cops three days. So August, four months goes by, he finds the bones in the bag in December. Do you have reason to believe that between August and December, those four months, this man, Roy Cronk, revisited that crime scene in a way that has not yet been recorded. Peralta, we have a very good source that says that Mr. Cronk was there between August 13th and December 11th when he discovered their remains. Do you think there's more funky information to come out about him? I'm sure that there is. I know there is. Will, uh, are your clients still fearful of being indicted for obstruction? I don't think they are anymore. I think that we've got things well under control. I think that I've shown, and they are confident that they've cooperated in every way. And uh, if, the, if the state wants to pitch that ball, we'll knock it out of the park. Brad Conway, thank you very much. You're welcome, Harold.